People ask me if I could uh, make a video on how I edit astrophotography. So I'll be doing uh, here an example of uh, American North American Nebula. Um, the image I'll be working on is a stack of, uh, of uh, if I remember correct, about 50, 50 frames with a total of 4 hours uh, exposure can find uh, more information on the on the image in the description I'm working in Photoshop most of the time I'll be using uh, Photoshop actions and some steps in Adobe RAW so the first step I'm going to run the the auto stretch action from the photochemy action set what the action does is it measures the values in the overall image and try to evenly stretch stretch it to the histogram uh, so the histogram becomes uh, more balanced the, this action it works best if the image has a good signal to noise ratio preferable with uh, all the calibration frames applied Otherwise, uh, the stretch uh, could reveal uh, too much noise, several parts over or underexposed. So, so if, yeah, sometimes it it works uh, very good, and other times the stretch is just too bad. It can't uh, can be used or or just just part of it, uh, like colors, parts of nebula, for example. This pop-up lets you adjust the levels if necessary depending on how the stretch came out okay well the image uh, this is how it looks pretty good I believe to be honest you could you could stop here already and have a fairly uh, fairly good finished image but we're gonna try and, and pull out a bit more of the nebula and reduce uh, the stars a little bit so Let's see how that goes. Let's run the Gradient Exterminator plugin. It's a plugin I highly recommend for removing gradients in your image. Next, uh, running the Nebula filter. This action should bring bring the Nebula a bit more to the foreground and reduce some of the some of the stars throughout the action there are uh, several pop-ups that uh, to adjust the, the, the levels manually for me the standard value of 15 15 on the on the darks works pretty good so might might uh, change it a little bit if uh, necessary but yeah, as I said this depends on the image you are working with Let's, let's run another uh, nebula enhancer. After the, the nebula enhancers, I usually run the dark details because the, the nebula filters it's soften a bit the image and with this, uh, this action it pulls out uh, the details again. For now, I believe the nebula is looking pretty good. I'm gonna focus uh, focus on the stars. So reduce the stars a bit. I'll be using uh, from the same action set uh, star reductions, as well as a technique from Adobe RAW. It's the first part of the star reduction.
before reducing the stars a bit more I'm going to run the noise reductions and, and focus a bit on the on the color in the image the same as with the nebula filters uh, noise reductions tend to soften the image a little bit so I'm gonna run the another uh, detail enhancer here Merge the merge all the layers. Okay, let's move move on to the colors. So there's a bit of a green hue, you know, as you can see in the image. I'll be using another action to remove uh, this this color. Although I know from experience, this action isn't really foolproof. The, the green color will be removed, but it, it might might change also other colors from the image so it's a bit of a guess uh, surprise uh, what the outcome uh, will be hmm. okay that totally changed the image but i'm kind of liking it actually it gives a bit of a a narrow band feel a narrow band look a bit of a color boost, maybe it, it might turn up. Might turn up. Nice. Let's see. That's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, let's let's do the second part of the star reduction. So the process is uh, fairly simple. You just set the texture to minimum. It will soften the the stars, reduce it a, a little bit, uh, but also the whole image. So we're gonna have to make a a star mask, so it only applies to the stars, and we keep the the detail in the nebula. Now, select the stars first. And with this selection, we're gonna make uh, the inverted mask. Okay, so we got the selection. Let's expand uh, the selection. Uh, As you can see, now softening only applies to the stars, not a, not a nebula. Okay, let's merge this, this layer and continue. Another star reduction I really like is the, the big star, uh, reduce the size of the big stars. Okay, I believe we're almost finished here. And enhance a little bit the nebula with the color selection. Just uh, choose a color selection and use the color picker to uh, to select your color. Modify the selection a little bit 
and we should be good to, to adjust the, the levels. Adjusting brightness, not too much. Some parts a little bit more uh, that I don't like, it's too, too bright. We'll just use a mask to, to remove this. Okay, good. To finish up, run another uh, gradient exterminator. adjustment in Adobe Row. Let's finish the contrast in in a Riveza plugin like this one. Okay. And if we're finished here, looking good. Let's see the changes from where we came with uh, the different steps in between. Before I forget, reduce the stars uh, on the brightness of the star uh, on those big stars a bit. So it's just a pretty easy process. Use a, a star uh, layer mask.
Okay, so I hope this helps somewhat. If you if you want me to do uh, more editing, uh, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.